So finally I want to end this launch series of videos with talking a bit about why I chose the, to call it the happy divorce mom. You know, because a lot of times we really don't know what happiness means. You know, it's, a, it's, it's sometimes it's overused or underused or, you know, so I was thinking yesterday before I wrote this, let me sign off by talking to you and telling you, what does happiness really mean? It sort of sounds cliche, are you happy? Are you happy? Happiness can mean a lot of things, but I came up with a lot of, so happiness is very en encompassing. It's not just, you know, I'm happy. And what does happiness mean? It means different things for different people. For you, it could mean feeling confident about yourself. It could mean being free. Freedom is happiness. Freedom of choice, to have choices, to be pain-free, to be stress-free, to be drama-free, okay? So happiness could mean freedom for you. It could mean feeling content that you don't have to you know, need more things to make you happy. You're content, okay? It could mean joy. It could mean having some fun in your life, that your life isn't just all about work, 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 and making everyone else happy. Especially as a divorced mom, you tend to neglect yourself. So through happiness, you make time for yourself. You see value in yourself, and you actually factor in, hey, this is what I need. So having fun, I remember I used to walk around the house going, where's the fun, where's the fun in this life? And I was so frustrated till I healed myself, okay? Happiness could mean satisfaction and feeling satisfied and again, content. Happiness could mean feeling appreciated for once in your life. You know, all the little things get recognized, you know, the nice Happy Mother's Day cards. And there was a reason that I launched on Mother's Day to appreciate you and who you are, okay? And the things that you do. Happiness could mean more energy, having the energy to get up and do the things you need to do and, you know, the things you want to do. Um, could mean feeling respected. Happiness feels when people respect you, it makes you happy. Could be a feeling of stability, that each and every day you know what's gonna happen and that's comforting for you. That's your happy place, okay? Could be feeling a sense of belonging. You know, that's what makes you happy, that you belong with this group or with these people, that they see value in your presence. Okay, happiness could be a sense of purpose-driven life, that you know what your purpose is and that you you strive every day to do it because it fills you up with joy. This fills me up with joy, helping you, okay? Gives me purpose. Um, happiness could be just peace, having peace and quiet. Not all this noise and negativity this makes you happy, just being at peace, peace of mind. Happiness could, for you, could be just feeling loved. That's happiness for most of us. The, the feeling that we're loved and appreciated and valued and that we're worth something. We're not being dismissed or ignored. Happiness could be feeling fearless, that you don't have to be afraid to pick up the phone or go see your ex or be afraid of what someone's going to think of you or being judged, just being fearless. But regardless of what people think or say, you're just going to be you and that's good enough. So when we live a life that is purposeful and we have all this contentment and joy and satisfaction and appreciation and value, and belongness and peace and love, that's where you achieve true happiness, okay? And 
The only way to do that is to heal all the noise and the negativity and the pain and the anger and the depression that's living in your heart because of your divorce, okay? Because you gotta remember, the further away you are from your authentic true self and the further away you are from living a purposeful, full life, the life that God granted you to live because everyone's telling you what to do, what not to do, how to do it and who to do it with. The more you listen to that, the further away you are from your true self. And the further away you are from your true self, the more unhappy you feel. So that's what I want to share with you, that happiness is not just fleeting. It's all these things that we talked about, okay, in order to feel happy. It's not just one little thing. So with that, if you're still not sure about the program, download the free happy checklist that I've done. And if you are checking off a lot of things saying that you're happy, you don't need the program. But if you're checking off a lot of things, even one thing that's saying that you're not happy, then give the program a chance, okay? You deserve to be happy, and so do your children. You all do, okay? So now's the time to do it. From my heart to yours, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the launch videos, and I really hope that I see you in the program. Stay in the light.